today we're gonna get through three different ice cream beauty bags. Well, not bags, boxes. These are the boxes this time. Now, if you hear little noises that sound weird, that's baby girl. Um, she is taking a bath right now while I film. We are so freaking close to being done with that box. The last thing we're gonna open up is my FabFitFun. <laughs> Bella, you were just quiet. Why is it once I start filming, then you get real vocal? The last thing I'm gonna open is my FabFitFun for like the summertime. Let's go ahead and get into the first one. Have no idea when this is from. Oh, okay, so this is from May and it comes with the nice little pack of peanuts. Okay, we love a good pack of peanuts. The first thing I'm pulling out is by Gerard Cosmetics. Those lip glosses are popping. So maybe this is popping too. Girl, chill. And this is the BB Illumination Plus Facial Cream. What is this? It's like a primer. This is what it looks like. Apply to clean skin over or under foundation for moisturizer. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Hopefully whoever gets it in the giveaway will know what to do with it because I have no idea. The next thing is from Peel Cosmetics and this is a gel liner. And I think the color is next level. What kind of gel liner? Like a lip liner? It just says gel liner. I don't know if this is for your lips or your eyes. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch swatch see. Glide it on real smooth. And that's actually a really pretty color. This might actually go really well with that Fenty lippy that I just got. So we got another Gerard Cosmetics product. And this is a Color Your Smile lip gloss. The lip glosses are actually really nice, so I'm not mad at it. Ooh, and it's in this color. Uh, it says salmon. I already know that I'm not gonna like this because this is very similar to the other one that I got. I'm not going to open this up. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not going to try it. Uh, this is going in a giveaway. Hopefully whoever gets it will enjoy this color because I know for a fact that I'm not going to like it. This is basically the same color that I got in that Mystery Ipsy and it was horrendous on me. The next thing is super like itty bitty and very pretty. What is this? By Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And it's like a loose pigment. This looks like a hot mess waiting to ensue. Oh my God, glitter everywhere. This is what it looks like. That is beautiful. And it's just like a loose pigment. Packaging is trash, okay? I need better packaging for this. That shimmer is gorgeous. I don't really have much experience with loose pigments like this. I like them nice and pressed in so that it's less of a hazard, okay? Less likely to create a big mess for your girl to clean up. The last thing we have is a palette. And this is the Ultimate Cappuccino by DD Signature. There is a nice little mirror. And these are the shadows. Very beautiful. Now, some of it is giving cappuccino. Some of it is giving, I don't know, something else. These are the shimmers and some of the mattes. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think the camera is showing you how gorgeous the shade is, but it is so freaking stunning. I'm very excited about this palette. All of those colors are absolutely stunning, especially those shimmers, especially this purple one. It looks kind of green on camera, but it's purple. This cappuccino palette is gonna run you $34. Packaging may not be worth $34, but them shimmers are definitely worth that price point. The BB Plus Illumination Cream by Gerard Cosmetics is $36. The Loose Duochrome Powder by Beauty Moon Cosmetics is going to run you $10. The Gel Liner by Appeal Cosmetics is gonna run you $21. The Color Your Smile Lip Gloss by Gerard Cosmetics is going to run you $24. That was actually a really good first box. Now for the second one. Well, it's upside down. Now for the second one. And this is what it looks like when I open her up. And this is from July. And the first thing that I'm pulling out, I believe is by ZC. This is the Palace Identity Blossom Contour in Warm Gold. This packaging definitely reminds me of my time when I was in China. It's like literally everything looked like this. Ooh, this is pretty. It comes with this cute little like velvety kind of case. This is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. Chinese people, they put a lot of lot of work into their products okay the stuff they send us be real simple and basic but the stuff they keep for themselves absolutely stunning i have no idea how to open this oh i'm not even going to explain to you how i open this because it'll just make me look stupid and then this is your contour and i actually think this will work really nice for me very beautiful and these are like gold specks so it'll probably give you some luminosity as well the next thing is from Medusa's Makeup, which I think Medusa has like their own beauty bags. And this is a vegan, cruelty-free, tinted lip, lip, 
lip balm in the color Social. And this is what it looks like. Okay, very nice. So you get a very sheer, very sheer color. Nothing too crazy. So you could just put this on like if you're not really doing your makeup at all, you just put this on for some hydration, but that's nice. This is from Ofra and it is a pressed powder oil control. So you can just kind of put this on over areas where you get really oily. Like for instance, for me, I get really oily right here and then on my forehead. So I could use this to kind of get rid of some of that oil. Just because the color is so white, I don't know if this is gonna give me flashback like a mug. So we'll try it out and see if it's gonna work for, you know, black girls. Cause if this is giving me flashback, if you're darker than me, uh, good luck. And the next thing is from Charmacy. I love me some Charmacy. Their packaging is always so freaking cute. Ooh, it's a mascara. Ooh, very luxe. Their packaging is always super freaking luxe and beautiful. Very, very thicky thick. Okay, there's definitely some nice ready to use product in there. And the last thing is a palette. And this is by Moon Slice Beauty. Very pretty, very girly, very beautiful, very purpley. I usually don't do too many purples on my eyes. This is so gorgeous. I definitely wanna try this out and see. This is a little bit ashy, but it's not too, too bad. Those shimmers though are absolutely stunning. I don't know if those shimmers are showing up as beautifully on the camera as they do my actual skin, but those shimmers are gorgeous, especially this one. I cannot wait to play around with this shimmer right here. All right, the Moon Magic Palettes by Moon Slice is gonna run you $30. I uh, don't know if I would pay $30 for this. The Medusa Tinted Lip Balm is gonna be $12. A little pricey. The Blossom Bronzer Contour is gonna be $42. It's pretty, but it's not that great of a material. $42, I don't know if I'm paying $42 for this. The Oil Control Pressed Powder by Ofra is gonna run you $29. And then the Volumizing Mascara by Charmacy is going to be $12. I would expect this to be more expensive based on how luxe the product looks. Hey, I ain't mad at paying less. Finally, the last ice cream beauty box for a while, cause I probably won't be resubbing for a while, okay? Too much makeup, I need to get through what I have. And this is from June. You think that's funny? <laughs> This is from ZC with the British Museum. This is an SPF 50, hydrating, refreshing, what is this? But the box is really freaking cute. Oh, it's a sunscreen. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not gonna actually open it up cause it's nice and sealed and I'm gonna pop this in a giveaway. Hopefully somebody else can enjoy it. This packaging is super, super adorable. The next thing is by Delanchi and it is a holographic highlighter. And this is what the box looks like. Ooh, very pretty. And it is in the color diamond, or maybe that's not what the color is. Maybe the color is 05, I don't know. And it is a multi-chrome highlighter, right? This is what it looks like in the pan. Ooh, that is unicorn. I don't know if I would use this as a highlighter. I might just put this on the eyeball. I swear every single box has had something from Gerard Cosmetics. Hydra Matte Long Wear Liquid Lipstick in the color Honeymoon. And this is what the box looks like. Ugh. Okay, this looks kind of old and gross. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Maybe it's just like how it's Still, this looks kind of like that Ipsy that I got last time. I mean, the color is nice. It smells good. It smells sweet. That pink is pretty. It's not ugly like the other color, so maybe it's not as bad. It might just be how it was filled that made it look kind of gross and disgusting. But this is a gel liner in forest green by Appeal Cosmetics. Very pretty. I love a green liner. I probably would use this on my eyes more than I would use it on my lips because when am I ever wearing green lipstick? Like, I know it's Halloween, but I ain't trying to look like I'm wicked out here. And this is what the color is looking like. Let's go ahead and draw a little line right here. Glides on like a freaking dream. Uh, your girl has hazel eyes, if you couldn't tell. So greens are my jam. They really make my eyes pop. I guess you could just use those for lips or eyes. Versatility, okay? Versatility is that girl. And finally, oh, so cute! Okay, this is a Sugar Drizzle Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. Look at how cute that is. It's giving spiral, but for girls. I know girls love spiral, but like a girly spiral? Bruh, get into it. These are the shadows. There's a mirror down here. Here are the swatches. Absolutely stunning. Everything is super pigmented. I am literally in love with those shimmers. 
we'll definitely have to play around with that palette and see what we can come up with because that is stunning. That was everything in the box. Let's go ahead and go over these prices and get up out of here. Okay, we're done. Plumeria Dragon Palette by Sugar Drizzle is going to run you $40. I mean, those shimmers are really pretty, but for $40, I want better packaging. I'm just saying, I want better packaging. The SPF 50 Moisturizing Primer by ZC Cosmetics is going to run you $29. The Holographic Duochrome Highlighter by Delanche is, or Delanche, I don't know. It's gonna run you $20, pretty, but I don't know if I'm $20 pretty. This Gel Liner by Pill Cosmetics is gonna run you $21. The Honeymoon Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics will be $20. That was everything in three months worth of ice cream beauty boxes. The boxes are definitely better than the bags. I'm just saying. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a fave. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.